Hello guys and welcome back to the vlogs. Today we are in Snowdonia National Park once again uh, in the Ogwin Valley and yeah, we've got Trevan right behind us here and we've set the, set the camp up right at the base of Trevan. Uh, 18 months ago I was here and uh, photographed Trevan from Penny Olwyn and when I was taking that photograph I kind of set myself a bit of a personal challenge that one day I'd like to get to the top of that mountain and it's a pretty big mountain, it's not to be taken lightly. So yeah, after spending 18 months or so hill walking, hill climbing and you know, map reading and all those things, I feel confident enough now to be able to take that on, especially on my own as well. So yeah, we're looking forward to it. Hopefully there's gonna be some amazing landscape photography opportunities along the way. So I can't wait to get stuck in today, guys. So let's go and explore. <laughs> So we've made it around about 400 meters up and a couple of miles I've probably traveled from the campsite and it's beautiful, it really is. It's been blustery at times, but here we've got a bit of a plateau and there's hardly any wind at all. It's absolutely beautiful. As you can see, the sun keeps coming out and what fleeting patches of light hitting Trevan. It's absolutely beautiful. Very dramatic sky as well. Very, very blue with a dark gray cloud as well. It's just incredible, it really is, considering we're now what, just quarter past two, so yeah, pretty much uh, not the best time to shoot, but for this shot it works really, really well. I've got this pond here, if you like, in the foreground, and I'm kind of using that as my foreground interest, and that's taking up probably two thirds of the scene, but it really leads the eye to the mountain. And actually where we are now, you can only really see half of Trevan, just the top half, but the, the composition works really well, I think. The only filter I've got on is a polarizer, and that's really bringing out the blues that we can see in the sky. And just taking a bit of reflection off the water, not too much, just a little bit. Take too much reflection off, because I want to try and get some of that detail of the sky in there as well. And I think, you know, just uh, tweaking the polarizer a bit really helps just bring all that detail out on the clouds. So yeah, really, really good addition to this. Uh, in terms of the actual settings on the camera, we're at 250th per second. Uh, that's allowing us just to freeze the motion in the, the grasses because they're moving around. So just that good good shutter speed, just to trying to control that motion blur that we've got there. ISO 200 and we're at F8 and that's getting everything sharp. We're focused on Trevan there and that's getting everything sharp right through to the foreground because we're a couple of meters away from the foreground. So all in all, you know, we've got enough depth of field at F8 and f 8s a, a good aperture to shoot at, you know, it's uh, pretty much near the sweet spot of this lens, which is a 10 to 24. So yeah, it's been absolutely beautiful, really has. It's just so good to get out. After spending a few weeks really editing, uh, it's just so nice to get out in the great outdoors and explore. And I'm really hoping I can get to the top there, but it, it looks so daunting from here, it really does. It's not an easy walk at all. And uh, I think the top part, the top sections, a bit of a scramble so whether I'll get there or not I don't know but you know I'm gonna give it a go <laughs> anyway I'm gonna take this shot I'm just waiting for the light to hit Trevan again and I'm gonna grab a couple more and actually we've got a bit coming now so yeah I'm gonna grab this one okay guys Well, I really enjoyed that shot. <laughs> it's really nice setting that up and it was a great view. Hopefully it came across well in the photograph. And one thing I would say, like this time of year, uh, you know, 
late spring, early summer, it's so difficult to know what to take with you. The difference in temperature down at the valley floor there was around about 15 degrees. On the summit, we're looking at around about three degrees, so a massive shift in temperature. So you really got to br you know, bring a lot of layers with you. It really does you know, mean taking quite a lot of gear, especially with all the camera gear as well. I think I've got about 15 kilos, so quite a lot. So walking poles are really helping me today, actually. I'm going to get the gear packed up now. We're going to be joining the miners' truck, actually, which is going to take us to the start of our ascent to Trevan. So, yeah, right, really looking forward to this. Get the gear sorted and, uh, yeah, let's crack on. So yeah, just approaching the start of the summit walk, if you like, this stone wall here leads up to the summit. Over this false summit here, I'll turn around, maybe you'll be able to see it. I'm gonna head over the top of that and then there'll be the main peak there, which hopefully we're gonna to get to. Um, it's a bit of a scramble. It's uh, not easy going at all. So really looking forward to it though. Yeah, can't wait to be honest. The views over this way are just incredible. They really are. Yeah, just, just amazing to be out here. It really is just incredible. So, let's get this show on the road. Let's see if we can get up to the top. Let's do this, guys. Yay! We made it guys! Wow! Just incredible it is up here, it really is. The conditions are like perfect for this sort of thing, they really are. So looking back across that way you can see where we took the shot earlier this morning of Trivan, where the little ponds were, so that's a kind of reverse look back that way. Over this way we've got the glitters and behind me here we've got Penny Olwyn. And you can see Anglesey as well, you can see right to the coast today, even though it's a little bit hazy. So yeah, just stunning views all the way around, it really is incredible. In terms of the walk up, you know, it is, it is tricky. Um, the first part is quite easy, but then you reach the last 100 meters and it is scrambling. So you are clambering over rocks and stuff. So if you do come up here, just be wary of that. But all in all, you know, if you uh, wear the right clothing and be prepared, I'm sure, yeah, it's accessible for most people. So looking back that way uh, at the glitters, you can see where Henry Turner wild camped a few weeks ago. So if you haven't checked that vlog out, I'll highly recommend you doing so. I'll leave the link in the description. Go and check it out when you finish watching this one. <laughs> uh, but yeah, oh, these spots are driving me mad. But yeah, he, he wild camped up there and he got some stunning images. And Henry's just reached 10,000 subs on his channel as well. He's doing incredibly well this year. So many congratulations, Henry. If you haven't checked his channel out, it's highly recommended, guys. And we'll be going off again very soon to do a wild camp as well, hopefully here in Snowdonia. So I can't wait for that. That'll be coming up very soon. So yeah, um, we are heading down now. I'm going to get the gear packed up, head down to this lake down the bottom here, because I think I'm not going to take a photograph up here. I think it's too bright, the light's too harsh, and it's very hazy looking back across that way. And I'm thinking sunset shot tonight could be incredible. We've got all this high cloud and as well as some low cloud as well. So anything could happen actually this evening. And I'm really liking the look of the lake and the view down the valley towards the sea. So I'm really hoping that can be a cracking sunset shot for me tonight. So yeah, gear packed up, get down to a lower level, get some food on the go, and then yeah, just wait for sunset. Can't wait, it's just been incredible though, it really has. Really just fantastic, can't get over it. And the weather, just awesome. Right. So we're down off the peak, I've got the camera set up here, looking down the valley, this stunning, stunning valley. 
got the lake in the foreground and that's what I'm going to be using as my foreground interest. I decided not to use any of these rocks here, decided to go for the lake and looking down the valley and out to sea. It's, it's absolutely beautiful, it's too bright to photograph right now. But on the camera, I have got to set up the polarizer and a three stop graduated filter. That's what I'm kind of anticipating I'm going to need when the sun dips down behind the mountains. What I've decided to do, because um, I didn't really want to shoot this scene wide, uh, if I shot it at 10 mil, basically the, the mountains become a lot lower in the frame. They can become lost, basically, it all becomes a bit nothing. So what I've decided to do is zoom in to 24 mil, which is like similar to 35 mil on a full frame. So similar to your, you know, your eyes would see it. And that brings the mountains forward. It brings that valley forward as well. It all kind of compresses everything together and makes it look a lot more dramatic and a lot bigger. So yeah, what I've decided to do, because at 24 mil, I can't get everything in that I want to get in. I've decided to stitch two shots together. Um, so like a side by side uh, panorama, if you like. So yeah, instead of doing a vertical panorama, which will be quite difficult with the polarizer and the three stop, um, I've just opted for two side by side. I'm just going to stitch them together. And that should be enough to get the corner of the lake in and also half of this mountain here, which is a uh, penny old one, I think. Yeah, so hopefully it's going to work out really well. There's still some of that lovely high cloud about as well. You probably can see behind me. And hopefully that's going to get a nice, rich, golden <laughs> red colour. Yeah, the only downside is I've obviously still got three miles to get back to the campsite. So I can't stay here probably as long as I'd like to. So I've got to get down and I don't want to really go down in the pitch black dark. I don't mind going down at dusk. So I'm just going to have to wait it out, wait for the best moment and then take the shot and then head down. So I'm going to tuck into my chipotle chili and rice, chipotle, chipotle, whatever. And uh, yeah, wait for, the, wait for the right moment and grab the shot. If I get a shot, guys, I'll show it to you. And I'm hopeful that if I wake up early enough, I might be able to get out and capture a sunrise shot as well, because I noticed a gorgeous patch of bluebells down at the base of Trevan, and that is on the sunrise side. So if I can get my backside out of the tent for 430 then I might have a crack at go, uh, capturing that as well. Also, what I would like to say as well is I'll be putting a blog post out with this as well. So there'll be lots of information on there. There'll be the images on there, uh, information about how the images were taken, the route itself, where the campsite is, all that good stuff. So yeah, jump over to the blog. I'll leave that link in the description. All right, guys, I'll see you soon.